I'm Bishop Martin Amos, and I'm the Bishop of the Diocese of Davenport. I'm originally from, uh, from Cleveland, Ohio. I was born in uh, 1941, the day after Pearl Harbor. I went to the uh, seminary in, in Cleveland. I was ordained a priest there, and I uh, served there until I was just going to, um, I was just going to turn 60, and that's when I was made auxiliary bishop in Cleveland. I was going to turn 65, and I became the Bishop of Davenport. And so I've been here, it'll be six years in, in November, and I'm, I'm really happy to be part of, of, uh, of the diocese. How old were you when you became aware of your Catholic faith? You know, I don't, I don't think, I, I never had a conversion moment, this aha time when, oh, now I'm, a, I'm aware that I'm a, I'm a Catholic Christian. I, it, it was probably something that just didn't happen over a day or two or a week. It's probably started with my family when my mother would teach us how to pray and then we'd have to be carted off to church and go to CCD. And so it probably started pretty early on. We had, uh, I, I wouldn't say our family was particularly religious. Uh, we did have religious things around. There was a crucifix and things around. So probably very early on I realized that I was a, a, a Catholic Christian. How does faith impact the decisions you make? Well, I hope it. I hope it impacts it a lot, uh, because I, I think, I think faith isn't what I believe. I don't think it's a noun. I think faith for me is a verb, a and so uh, it, it's all of the the teaching I've had, and instruction I've received, or prayers I've made, all that stuff. I, I hope that says I, I want to. Uh, live the life of Christ, that it's no longer I who live, but Christ Jesus living in me, so that whatever I say, whatever I think, whatever I do, flows from the faith that I have if Christ is living in me. So it, it's probably, um, it, I hope it impacts everything I do. How do you pray? <laughs> Sometimes very poorly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I think I have, First of all, I think I have all of the, the issues that everybody else has, too, in, in trying to make sure that I, I carve out the time for prayer. Uh, I can get very distracted during prayer and have to keep coming back again and again to, to what I'm really doing. But how do I pray? Well, liturgical prayer for me is very important. So I, uh, celebrating Eucharist means a great deal to me, and it's not just something I do. It really is a prayer. I'm, I'm faithful to saying the Liturgy of the Hours, to praying during the day for and with God's people. And then uh, above and beyond that, I suppose it's the, it's, it's sometimes it's sitting very quietly and just being aware of God's presence. Um, I guess I hope, I hope again that it permeates my, my day, that it's, there are those carved out times, but there's also the times when I've just hope I'm, I'm listening to God's Spirit saying, this is what you should be doing. What scripture passages or stories inspire you? Probably my, my most favorite uh, is, is uh, from the book of Kings where uh, Elijah is up on the, on the mountain waiting for God to come. And there's all these manifestations. There's thunder and lightning and fire and all this stuff. And, and God's not in any of those, but then finally comes in the, uh, uh, the gentle breeze and the whisper, because that's been my experience of God. It's, it's not, he doesn't speak to me where I hear him in the thunder and the lightning and that, but it, it's in the quiet moments or even after the fact when I look back and reflect on what I've done or said or thought that uh, I think I hear God speaking to me. So that's that's always been one of my, my favorite, favorite passages. Who has been a model of the Catholic faith in your life? There's probably been a lot of them. Uh, early on, it would have been my, my grandmother. Uh, you know, she, she was deep, deeply religious and faithful. And then, uh, uh, they have to, so many parishioners uh, would have been models of faith to me. I, you know, some some of the things that some of those people went through, and how faith-filled they were. Uh, you know, it, I've heard somebody say, uh, "If God g gave it to me, God will bring me through it." And, and so it's those kind of people that have always inspired me. 
How has your Catholic faith helped you to deal with life's challenges? Um, my faith helps me to deal with life's challenges because I believe God puts me where I'm at for a reason. And it's either that I'm supposed to learn something or I'm supposed to help somebody else learn something through this. And, and so it does impact my, my daily life.